बहुत अच्छा है हाय गाइस वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो मीट माय फ्रेंड रमनदीप एंड हर हॉट चॉकलेट यस सो टुडे वी विल शो यू जॉर्ज स्क्वायर कैंपस ऑफ द यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एडिनब्रा सो दिस इज वन ऑफ द फाइव सिक्स कैंपसेस दैट द यूनिवर्सिटी हैज सो यूनिवर्सिटी हैज हो गया हैव ओवर हैज हैज ही हो गया ना सो आम This is where the main library is. So, uh, as you can see, this is the main library of the university. I think it has four or five floors, and this is 24 hours open. So you can go at any time, and you can just study. And now we will walk towards the business school, and then we'll show you the business school and some other buildings and areas that are popular. Uh, Uh, on this campus so uh, just give us a second and i'll show you the business school from outside uh, unfortunately i won't be able to go inside and show you all the places because for that i'll have to take permission because um, all these properties are private and by private i mean if i if i want to shoot um, the insides of the building i'll have to take permission first but it's going to be super complicated because there are so many buildings here right so i'm just going to I'll show you all the buildings from outside and that should give you some good idea of how this campus looks and where you can go if you want to go to some places this is the business school building as you can see so this is the front side of the building and there is this huge park in front of the business school and main library and there are two entrances this is the first main entrance and then there is another entrance uh, from the back side and the pictures that you must have seen you must have seen the back side of the business school that's also very pretty uh, all right so um <laughs> actually ramandeep doesn't go there to study but, but from the 11th floor of the building you can see a beautiful sunset and from the back side you can experience an amazing view of arthur seat and the ocean right so uh, uh, every, uh, everyone can access that building uh, that's beside the business school so anyone can go there and it's a very tall building so if you go to the 11th floor you can have an amazing view of the sunset like ramandeep said and around the campus you will see these small shops from where you can get coffee or something to eat so this is also very convenient so just to show you where the main library is and where the business school is so uh, i'm standing here and from here you can see that that's the main library over there and then this is the business school and now we are walking in that direction so guys um if you look here this building is called apelton tower right and then this is the school of informatics i don't know if that's the name of the school or not but if you are uh, if you will be doing any course related to computer science or coding most probably you will be coming here to study and then that's the school of neuroscience all these schools are in george square campus so this is where a school of neuroscience informatics business school and main library is and, and one behind is a school of uh, philosophy psychology and language sciences and that's where you study right yes all right amazing and now uh, we will have a look at the gift shop so um, if you guys don't know uh, in this campus we also have a gift shop so if you want to buy something for yourself or for your family members if you are going back to your country you can buy presents uh, you can buy uh, uh, you know stuff uh, university branded stuff um, you can souvenirs. get souvenirs um but you should definitely ask for student discount because i didn't know about student discount and i ended up paying 40 pounds for one sweatshirt and it was super expensive <laughs> <laughs> and there was it wasn't worth 40 pounds definitely but uh not 40 pounds i mean 25 30 would have been fine <laughs> but yeah ask for student discount so this is um the gift shop uh and Ah, uh, you guys can have a closer look. This is closed right now. I don't know if you can see anything inside, but uh, these are the opening hours. And and now, uh, I'll show you Tibet Row House, which is the students' union building. Tibet Row is students' union building, right? Uh, this is the side entrance of Tibet Row. 
this is called a tevetro garden uh, and now i will show you tevetro house by the way uh, just to give you some extra information tevetro house is the oldest students union building in the world i'm not sure I read it on Wikipedia. Okay. I think it is the oldest students union building in the world and this is um the front side of Tivetro house. It actually looks like a uh, Hogwarts. Uh but it's a beautiful place. There are three bars inside, library bar and then sports bar and then one another bar, right? I don't remember the name. I don't remember the name of the third one. But yeah, three bars are inside. and you can uh, sit and study have food have fun a lot of in e events are also organized sometimes here so you can come here for a lot of activities and this is macuen hall this is where um you know graduation ceremonies and a uh, welcome welcome ceremonies uh, open days open days are supposed to happen although when i came uh, because of covid restrictions that didn't happen but I am looking forward to the graduation ceremony that will happen here for sure. And we will show you the inside on that in that video. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and and uh, this is the front side of Macuen Hall as you can see. This is where usually people come and skateboard. Mm -hmm. uh, and when you will come here during the welcome week, you will see so many activities happening and uh, it's a very happening place during the welcome week and now we will go to potter row which is another students union building but before that uh, the building that you are seeing in um, over there basically that is health and well being center this is where uh, you might go to get medicines there is a pharmacy inside and the gp as well and the gp as well so uh, what so what do you mean by gp ramandeep do you know what gp is <laughs> she was zoned out she was not listening to me carefully <laughs> basically if you are if you are having any health issues gp is your first point of contact usually right i don't remember the full form it's like Jour a, journal general practice practitioner i believe yeah general practitioner yeah i think general practice i think okay whatever it is if you have any health issues you usually contact gp only so this is the health and well being center um and you can register in your first week for here okay yeah when you come here within the first week you should definitely register yourself with the gp yeah. uh, over there you will see a pharmacy and and they also do covid shots in here at the moment what they also do the covid shots okay at the moment all right and this is also the advice place i believe no. is this the advice place no, no. that's inside yeah. that's inside potter they also row they have like counseling services in here yeah. okay all right and now the last building that i'm going to show you is potter row house and um i still won't be able to go inside but you can uh, you can uh, look at the pictures online i mean you can just type <laughs> the name of these buildings and on google photos i mean i cannot <laughs> i cannot go inside because i'll have to take permission uh, but still i am showing uh, i'm showing you the campus it's closed you can go inside anyway it's anywhere closed yeah so i cannot go inside but uh, if uh, if you look if you have a look here you can see what's inside basically activities office so basically what advice places if you need some kind of general advice about stuff that's going in the university if you have any inquiry you can go to advice place and you can talk to someone then you will see two cafes here and if you want um, to interact with you know a uh, students union people you can come here and talk to them so basically that's uh, this is George Square campus um and these are all the buildings here just to wrap up the video again uh if you go in this direction you will see business school and then you will also see uh the main library it's very close to the business school then you will see uh the school of informatics appleton tower and school of neuroscience and school of psychology and political science as well these four schools are very close to each other and then here um you will see macuen hall where uh, your graduation ceremony will take place it's a beautiful building you should definitely have a look at its pictures on google and then that's tivetro house uh, it's again uh, 
I think one of the oldest student uh, students union buildings in the world and then uh, and on this side we have some food places yeah then uh, you can just explore the city go out yeah. have fun oh. so basically this is uh, George Square campus uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thank you so much Ramandeep for being I said it okay Achha. so apparently I shut the video down too soon so let's go again yeah so basically this was the uh, George Square campus tour of University of Edinburgh I hope you guys like the video I shot this video in English because um, the video is targeted to a broader audience because uh, uh, University of Edinburgh is a very international university uh, students from all across the world come here to study and thanks a lot Ramandeep for being so gracious uh, <laughs> she has been holding the camera for like 2-3 videos now and thanks for coming and See you soon in the, next, uh, in the next video. All the best. Bye.